Hello everyone, as in last video, I said we will talk about how to deploy your Yugo website on Netlify. So in last video, I used Fixit theme from Yugo templates, Yugo themes and build this beautiful website. All the basic changes, as I said in last video, are done in config.toml file. The header, gravatar and this text added, all the social links are from config.toml file. And these are the posts which I have edited here. I'll show you how you can do this. In this, in, in content folder of your website, you have post folder which we created in the last video. Similarly, you can add the basic information of your post. Like the title, what is you? Here we have the title, author, your name, and the tags, you go and windows. These are the tags. You can use all this the category in which folder it is in the tag folder these are all the categories all this you can have from documentation of fixit site which we have discussed in the last video then if you want to import your youtube video you can do by this you can create as many posts you want in the post folder and it will all show you here on home page but the thing to remember here is all posts will have draft equal to true. So don't forget to make it false. Otherwise, your post won't be shown. And Gravatar, I already told you, it is in the config.toml file. You can change there. So now let's see how to deploy this site on Netlify. So without wasting time, let's get started. For this, open up your GitHub account. And in GitHub account, let's create our empty repository. In GitHub account, create a new repository in repository section, new, and then type the repository name, whatever you want. I'm giving it as Yugo Web. Then create the repository. After your repository has been created, copy all this command one by one and paste it in the VS Code terminal. Open your Yugo website folder in VS Code and copy all these commands one by one in it. I already have my folder open of Yugo website. In this open up the terminal and copy one by one all the commands. A few moments later. Once you have copy pasted all the command in VS code, refresh this GitHub page, your GitHub repository page. And as you will see here, we got the view code. We got all the code from here in our github now let's deploy the site on netlify for this go to your netlify account open app.netlify.com and if you haven't signed in with netlify yet do it they are just simple steps so after this you will have this page and add new site and import an existing project this will import a project from github you can choose GitLab, Bitbucket, etc. if you use this. But for now, we have code on GitHub. So let's select GitHub. Here, it will ask you to authorize your GitHub account. My account is already authorized with it. After the authorization is complete, it will ask you basic information like your password, etc. After that is complete, then this page will be shown up and pick your repository. My repository is this Yugo Web, which we created now. After all this, it is all good. And then in show advanced edit variables, put up the new variables here and type Yugo version and whatever version you are using of Yugo, you can see this in command prompt. So I have 106 version. So 0.106.0. This you can check in your VS Code terminal also. After this, click on deploy sign. This is very simple. It takes all the code from our GitHub and it deploys our site. Now, as you will see here, our site deploy is in progress. It is building our website. Netlify build is done. It's all green. Okay, our site is live. So it takes just few seconds and our site is live. 
when you click on here and you will see our site is running so this is very simple so our site is working basically and it's toggling a theme also it's good it's working this is all for this video see you in the next bye